you know, it's, we're going to crush that 200. How did that one feel? Nice. 194, Dad. Come on. How's that one? Now I've done many videos on helping you hit driver much straighter and longer, but in this video, I want to show you a live example. Now that live example is my dad. I'm actually bringing him into the studio so you can watch the session. But before I do, I want to let you into a little secret. I took him out on the golf course the other day and I surprised him with a brand new Callaway Paradigm driver. Just have a look at his reaction. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Is that the latest driver? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe it's light, isn't it? Hey? It's so light. Now you've set me a real challenge here, Danny. <laughs> oh, hang on. Is that a little draw? That was a little draw. Yeah, that's it. So is that, you said you've been starting to hit a draw now. Yes. Yeah? Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. Really good. Now he was clearly loving the driver, but the problem is like a lot of golfers, he had one major power leak, which was costing him. Whenever he tried to add power, he would actually lose strike and actually lose direction. I want you to jump into lesson with me now and sh I want to show you because I know it's going to help how he managed to kind of really ramp up his power, but maintain his accuracy. You're going to love this session. Come and enjoy. At impact right now, mm. what's happening a little bit is, is there's not a lot of room. So when you get to here, yeah, mm. you're losing a bit of power and a bit of club first control because what's tending to happen is you get to impact and there's not a lot of space here. Gotten, that's the feeling I've been getting there, that's right. You feel a bit cramped? Yes. And then you're a bit like this. Yeah? yeah so exactly, so but that, it just feel like that. So I'm, I'm, I can't go any further. I yeah. feel very uncomfortable Stuck. down there. It's not like a, a, a flow through. Great. Okay, perfect. Right now. So what we remember what we did in the last session, the golf swing is a circle. Yeah. Mm. So what we want to try to do here is, and what's wonderful about it is, is that you, your circle used to, when you sliced it in our mm. last session, your circle yeah. was here. Yeah. A long way. Now right. you can see it's still a little bit there, right? Yes. So we've still got to get you swinging a bit more this way. Okay. But it's better. So we've shifted your circle from coming across the line of the golf ball to swinging more this way, yeah? Mm. And we've done, we did that by changing your shoulder alignment, your hip alignment, your knee alignment, and your bum, yeah? That mm. got you shifting the circle more this way to there. Yeah. yeah, simple as that, just a simple change in setup. Mm. Now, as I said, we're creating a circle. The center of your circle is the top of your left shoulder. Right? This is the circle. This is the point at where the circle gets to its to lowest point. It's the biggest diameter of the circle. Mm. From here, the circle starts to work up, around, back here. It's working down, gets to the bottom of the circle here, and then works back up again. But notice this. For the circle to maintain the diameter, or the radius of the circle, should I say, not the diameter, the radius yeah. of the circle, mm -hmm. yeah? For us to, uh, to maintain the radius, what am I having to do? You're having to come slightly backwards and up. Yes, look what I'm doing. I'm having to almost basically yeah. push my hips under mm. to create room to come through. I'm almost having to come back a little bit, aren't I? Yes. To allow this to keep coming through and create a circle. What you're doing, you're staying uh, over and there's no room. Yeah. Yeah? So what yeah. I want you to do is I want you to get the sensation, we'll do this, we're going to get the, extent, uh, the sensation here, just work on, on the follow through of where you need to be here. So really sense that you're able to kind of get some space through the impact area right. by basically tucking the belt buckle underneath the torso here, mm. or you could even say putting your bum underneath, getting into some form of extension rather than staying right. down through it. Okay, yeah. so we're going to work just on, on kind of the follow through to, uh, to start with, okay? So this is the center of your circle. So if, you, if I said to you, you've got to kind of from here, mm. swing through and keep this uh, radius. Yeah, look at that now. That's what you do, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. But if I got, but if you stayed down on the golf ball, 
How, yeah. There's no space. No, that's right. Is there? No, for it to swing through. Swing through, right? So from here, keep your weight forward, but then there, now there you go. So tuck your butt underneath. That's it. That's it. And then look at this. This also becomes a bit of a power move. Because mm. I'm going to, if you were throwing something. Yeah. That's what you do. You wouldn't mm. go. No, that's, yeah. That's It'd be. Right, that's and you're pushing up, you're extending upwards, yeah? So just get a sense of that, right, that left, left, left arm there. That's it, that's it, there you do create space, you do it straight away. Lovely. <laughs> Too steery. Yes. Too steery. The, yep. this, it's often the danger when you try these things, okay? Yes. When you, whenever you get a tip like I that. I didn't feel as though I released a club. No, so exactly. So, mm. so, so when you try it, oh, I've got to get through here. And you, yeah. everything becomes like rigid, yes. yeah? So your job, and it's not easy, brothers, for a second. Your job <clears throat> is to remember that, although yes, we want to create space and let his arm come through, mm. it's not stiff no. as a board. Mm. First of all, do some rehearsals. Yeah. Feel where you need to be, and then as best as you can, flow to there. Yeah. So I would rather see an imperfect golf swing, mm. but a flowing one, Fl yeah. than one that looks perfection in a rigid manner, because that's no. not golf swing. No. Okay. So rehearse where you need to be, then flow to where you need to be. Okay. And accept it. it's right. not going to be perfect, and that's absolutely fine. Right. Yeah. Look at that. How did that one feel? That felt really nice. Yeah, and uh, do you know what I'm seeing as well? When you, when you, when you did that extend, I can see it's, it's almost, it goes with the snap. Yeah. It's like, whew, yeah? yeah. 190 yards, well done. I think with this new Callaway type Paradigm Driver, I reckon we can get over 200 yards. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. So set yourself into that, remember the circle we created with the draw, yeah? So set your, set your circle, yeah? Now snap it up. That's it, snap upwards, that's it. Look at, look at the space you're creating for the arms to swing through, yeah? You follow? Yep. Yeah. But do that again, boo, start again. Now those two swings there were steered. I want, I'm I want, saying, yeah. you follow, yeah. faster, snap. Sna faster, snap them. There, less steery, remember rhythm, less steery is better, yeah? Okay, a bit steery for me that. I'm gonna show you something, yeah, so it's fine, it's just a little bit steery. Let me show you what I mean by this. You have to get a sense of rhythm in this motion, right? So in order to get power, a lot of times people are trying to yeah. do this, or mm. this. Mm. Notice this as I swing. Yeah. What do you notice? Yeah, it's just a, a whoosh down there, yeah. There's no, uh, there's a no. whoosh down here. It's like a momentum's building up. Yeah. So, and then you, if I want to make that momentum faster, I don't go, well, I've got to hit it harder now. I can just increase that momentum. Mm. But it's always a rhythm to this, right. yeah? yeah? So when you are doing this, imagine how am I going to get to there? Mm. I'm extending through to there, and I'm going to create flow to that. That's it, lovely flow. And each time you make a swing, just keep sensing that rhythm. That's lovely rhythm, Dad. And again, ah, uh, yes, you feel that, yeah, right. And then just just imagine the extension helping you create room for the circle. So you've got the rhythm. There you go. Lovely rhythm, that one, Dad. That's the best you've done it in terms of rhythm. There you go. Look at that. Yeah. You follow. Yeah. Lovely rhythm on that one. How did, that, how did that one feel? Good. Yeah? There you go. We're up to 190 now. You've got yeah. rhythm. Yeah. You feel, can you sense that rhythm as well? Yes, I can. Yeah, okay. So rhythm is where speed comes from. Right. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sensing that rhythm, it's kind of like a timing, isn't it? Yes. Yeah? One, nine, two. These, look how, have you seen now more consistent now? You're, you, when we had that last session, yes. you know, and I know this is a, the new, new driver, yeah. um, but now it's consistently around that 190 now, isn't it? Yes. So I know that today we should be comfortably get you over 200, but again, I said 200 mm. without any effort at all. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely rhythm there. 
Lovely rhythm. So the slice is coming back a fraction, yeah? So all we do if you've got a slice coming back a fraction is what? M first to right. No. Nope. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how, yeah, so but how do you do that? Right. The slice comes back, yeah. So we're going to, your shoulders, there you go. We're going to close our shoulders off. There you go. Make sense there? That's it. Yes, yeah, so that's all we do to change that. So then we keep the rhythm. Hey, Presta. Now you hit a straight shot. Yeah. 190. Yeah. And how quickly was that to hit it straight? All we've done is gone. Slide. Mm. That's right. Yep. Yeah. Shifted that circle over. Yeah. A little bit, which then immediately. That felt, that felt nice off the face. Yeah, it's brilliant. How did that one feel? Nice. 194, Dad. Come on. Come on. And, but more important, look at these numbers now. Consistent. Bang, bang, bang. Yes. Yeah. This is so that's, much better. That's really great. It's so much better. So much better. Now you're consistently over 190. It's just like, you know, it's, we're going to crush that 200. How was that one? Not quite as good. Oh, no, not quite. You got a good feel, it wasn't, was it? Four yards less. Come on. Right. Feel, so on this one here, right, we're going to do a, we're going to do a warm up. We're going to do what's called a Bryson de Chambeau warm up, right? Okay. So you'll notice with Bryson, when he's warming up, he's trying to do a big one, right? It's still rhythmical. Mm. We're going to, oh, we can't swing like Bryson, but when you're doing it, get a sense of. Yeah. It's like rhythm. Woo. Yeah. And it, there's a flow and rhythm to it. Yeah. It's not never, I've got to hit it hard like this and it's rigid. Yeah. Feel how you're going to whip it. If you had a hammer in your hand, imagine you met the old Olympic hammer throwers mm. and we're throwing them. They're building a rhythm out of them. Yeah, woof, yeah. Woof. And then suddenly at some stage, they woof let and let it go. go. That's what you've got to almost have with this as well. It's like the hammer throw. You just really, at some stage, yeah. get a sense of just letting it go. Okay? And notice this. Hammer throwers, they don't stay down, do they? What no. do they do with the entire body? Yeah. They extend yeah, it, they extend it yeah. and that's what we're doing here. Yes, yeah, okay. get it out of the way, but not in a rigid way. So it's not contract this, it's not... No. You're, you're creating room for swinging those arms through. Yeah, you go. Yeah? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Pre now, set, set, set the circle, and off you go. How was that one? That felt good. Yeah! <laughs> and that's... Well done, Callaway. That is my... How you doing? Wonderful. Right, we got to finish it. That's, really, that's a unit, yeah. <laughs> now that is how you go about generating a bit more... A bit more power. Um, that felt great. It evaded, didn't it? Oh, it did. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely awesome. So, yeah, have, have you enjoyed this video? <laughs> this is obviously the culmination of a session we did um, a couple of weeks ago. If you, if you missed that one, watch that one right here on the driver. This one was about how you start to add, maintain that kind of um, direction, add a bit more power into the swing. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe share, share it with one of your friends. And of course, look, if you're new to the channel, press that subscribe button right down here. I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining us again, Dad. Thank you. I'll see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>